the human mind has developed an amazing ability to observe and analyze complex events. When the first people took notice of the universe, they invoked the supernatural to describe what they saw. They couldn't imagine any other way to explain the puzzling events and objects around them. That started to change when the first philosophers used reason and mathematics to create explanations. The early Greek philosophers solved the mystery of a lunar eclipse, and subsequent generations of philosophers added to this knowledge, discovering more about the true geometry of the universe. That process continues today. The genius of those who have added to this knowledge is remarkable. Observing from a distance, they revealed the structure behind mystifying objects and events. Even a simple man-made event can be puzzling. The geometry of the structure creating these patterns is not obvious. At least it wasn't to me. You may have a mind capable of analyzing this device. If you don't, then, like me, you would have to walk up to it and examine it closely. The philosophers who analyzed the universe didn't have the luxury of walking up to it and seeing it from all perspectives. They observed from Earth. We, though, can change our perspective and walk up to this device and examine it. The mystery device is revealed. It's called a twister and it's constructed from 12 wood sticks, joined to create this structure. It is not complicated, but when set in rotation and viewed from the right angle, it creates a surprising array of patterns. You may be familiar with Galileo's observation of the four main moons of Jupiter. He was viewing a structure that created an ever-changing and puzzling pattern, four objects moving back and forth. Without the luxury of changing his perspective, Galileo came to the conclusion that he was viewing objects orbiting a planet. He was right, and this important discovery opened the way for an explanation of our solar system. This device is not difficult to build. If you're interested in constructing one, here's an overview of how to put one together. You will need 12 3 quarter inch square sticks of softwood. I used white pine. The dimensions are not critical, but if you change them, make sure you use the same proportional sizes. Here are the dimensions I used. Four pieces, eight inches long, four pieces seven and a quarter inches long and four pieces six and a half inches long. I connected the pieces using one and a half inch number six wood screws. Start by joining an eight inch piece to a seven and a quarter inch piece. Create four units like this. Next, join the short six and a half inch pieces as shown. This creates two new units. These are attached to the remaining two original structures like this. You will notice that the dimensions are designed so that each side is the same length, eight inches. Pick a top corner and thread in a metal eye. Attach a swivel to the eye. You can get these from a fishing supply store. The swivel allows a free rotation. Tie a string to the swivel. This is how you hang the twister. A coat of paint and the twister is ready for use.
For more science and technology related projects and videos, visit our website, hyloroad.com.